Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Under the Skin. I'm your host, CPC Gamer, and in our last episode, we completed the tutorial stage, and in doing so, we've unlocked another six stages to play in. We can tackle them in any order, but I'm going to do what I feel to be the right order, and do Frontiersville first. This next stage is called Frontiersville, and it's chock full of rootin' tootin' danger. There are armed gunmen and rampaging horses that will make your task hard, along with a wicked panic time called Desert Storm. Get ready for some confusion when the Desert Storm hits, because not only will it be hard to see where you are going, but your radar will be useless. You better be ready to giddy up, partner. Ride them, cowboy! Yeehaw! I suppose I should point out at this junction that I'm not going to play Frontiersville. And if you have done a Let's Play of Frontiersville, which I'm sure exists on YouTube, then shame on you because you are an idiot. Anyways, no. The deal with this stage is we have a 10 minute time limit and we have to make more money than our opponent. There's no upper limit, but the lower limit is still there, so if we hit zero coins, it's game over. As well as unlocking a few stages, we've unlocked a few weapons exclusive to each stage. Obviously, there's the tornado right there, but we also have guns, and... I think that's it. The tornadoes and guns. The tornado is a good weapon in theory, but I'm not too keen on it. I mean, whatever it hits, it drops a load of coins, but... It's really hard to direct it. Ooh, I'm gonna steal that guy. And so he did. Oh, and I have a boxing glove too. Let's see if this one works out. Hoppa! Oh, and it did! Not very well, I'll grant you, but there it is anyways. And it gives me a chance to show off the law enforcement system. If anyone with a star floating over their head sees you and they see you misbehaving, they will immediately attack you, whether your pranks hit anyone or not. I mean, you probably saw it with the cops in the last level, it's also happening with the cops in this level. Ooh. Right, so Duel is not a weapon as such, but it's a very useful tool if you have decent items. It puts you and your opponent in a showdown situation, facing one another at 10 paces. I think I just completely missed my opponent. Ah, who cares, I got to show off the gun and why it is awesome. It lasts for 10 seconds, and as long as you keep mashing the X button, the, the thing keeps on firing. You can get some huge combos with it, and score a load of coins. Oh, and I have a couple more guns as well. Nice! I'm just going to use the tornado first, though, because... I mean, it's much easier to launch in an enclosed space, where there's a high concentration of people. Also, gun! shooting probably a child in the head with a pop gun and getting karate chopped in return. Video games making people violins and all that other assorted nonsense that only morons believe. I was going to go after my opponent for a bit. In the levels where you have to make more money than the other guy, you're occasionally better off tracking them down and attacking them. Because if you can do it, then they drop coins that you can pick up. Also, I think I just noticed everybody's underwear is colour-coordinated in this game. Player 1 gets blue, player 2 gets red. That's a cute little touch game. The only problem with attacking your opponent directly is you tend to get a lot of collateral damage. And I definitely think I'm going to go change if panic time's coming up. So as you saw during the intro to the stage, this one's called Panic Time, and Panic Time is called Desert Storm, get it right? And it disables the radar, so you can't find where the changing points are. And it also puts this annoying filter on the lens that I hope to God Pinnacle Studio doesn't try to auto-correct. I mean, it is a very smart program, except for when it isn't. I could, what the hell was that? I think that was one of the horses you've seen roaming the level. I mean, sometimes they go berserk and start charging around and... Well, if, if they hit you, then you take a hit. Clearly. Oh, come on. Why did none of you guys have any weapons? I didn't go that berserk, did I? 
Also, I'm just gonna steal these coins. I don't mind if I do. Who? And apparently, I get flattened by a horse spawning on top of me. Thank you, game. I gotta go change now. And I got hit by a horse again! Thank you again, game! Alright, now I need to go and change. Was that guy checking me out? I mean, I, I know he was staring, because that's what the AI is programmed to do, but... I'm pretty sure I just heard that guy make the Fwoar! noise, which... would make this game all kinds of weird. Duh. Then... It already is. Just in case you hadn't figured out that we're on weirdness level Japan right about now. You know? And with that weirdery, I think it's time to tell you a story. A story I began telling quite some time ago, actually. For a bit of backstory, my friend is having a baby that, by the time I upload this, she'll probably have had it. The point is, children. And I'm gonna dote on this kid something fierce, and I don't think I will ever stop. In particular, I sent a baby shower of my very own. When I picked up some tops, some clothing sets, and whatever. My coup de gras, except not called that because that's a fancy fighting term. My coup de gras was a crocheted Link doll. And, you know, it's from The Legend of Zelda. So I accompanied it with a note that said, It's dangerous to grow alone. Take this! And I think I'm prouder of that pun than I am of the actual doll. You know? Funny story about that, it was so hard to pack the box because I bought so much stuff. I had to sort of turn it around and... I had to write in the inside of the box, Tetris level babies, just to show what was going on. Oh yeah, damn right it's panic time, that was not good! I had a 125 point deficit to make up! And of course, I decided to do something stupid to try and close that gap, doing karaoke in it densely populated cluster. I have no idea where the disguise points are with the sandstorm and all. Oh hey, there he is! Or maybe not. Question marks. <laughs> I guess he was just running weird. Either way, I've taken his powers, and I'm gonna try this gun again, because... I mean, it worked out so well for me last time. Look at that! This is why you want to use a gun. And that's why you don't want to use a gun. It's the best of both worlds. It's model. I got a stack of coins, but at the same time, some kid beat me up and injured my pride. Okay, so Cosby Man is my character's special move. It renders you totally invincible and makes it so that anyone you bump into takes a hit and drops some money, obviously. But they also get up very quickly. So I mean, if you find a group of... well heck, you can even do it with two people. You can just run in circles, knocking the same few people down over and over again and racking up a huge combo. And, well, as you can see, if I stop getting run over by a horse, has closed the deficit quite a lot. Let's see if I can... Did I just shoot that horse? I think I did. That was pretty dumb. And what? Whoa! What the hell was that? It's bondage time, apparently. <laughs> Seriously, I have never seen that before. It might be... What's it, Baron Von Protopod's special attack or something? I don't know. It could just be Japan. It's a nice, easy way of hand-waving any single ounce of weirdery we happen to find while playing. It's pretty great. Gonna uh, yeah, put some tax down. I think I'll have to go find somebody else. Oh, I know, I know what I'm gonna do. So I can spam all these items so I can empty my inventory and feel justified in changing my persona. And this is why I feel justified picking the woman for once. The ever so subtly misogynistic vacuum attack that nets you every single coin available on the stage, of which there are a lot because I mean, apparently nobody picked anything up after happy fun bondage time. And yes, that would be how the West was won. With a fairly large and dumpy woman using a vacuum. Which 
I will, on the occasion I find myself extremely bored, pronounce vacuum. Don't know why. Mostly because I'm an idiot. Still, even though I've got a pretty good lead at this point, I don't want to become complacent because you can still lose. Oh, and here's me saying they color coordinate between play characters. Way to make me into a huge lying liar game. This is why we can't have nice things. And I spy my opponent. And as I say, I've got a pretty good lead, but not enough of a one to become complacent, so I'm gonna see if I can attack Protopod. See if I can get hit in the face with a boxing glove. Okay, this is not good. This is some dangerous times right here. Did I hit him? I don't think I did, because he didn't drop a load of coins. Oh well. And of course he stole my UFO, so I can't change. It's pretty tense. Or at least as tense as anything can be when you were playing as a cowboy with stripy pajamas, or whatever. Either way, I win. Good times. Uh, I'll be back in the next episode, so until next time, goodbye.